Alright, Ashley Brock reading Nora Roberts' book, Inner Harbor, Chapter 10. With her mind jumbled with pain, her hands unsteady, and her system begging to shut down for the night, spell keyed open her hotel door, she could just get to her migraine medication, to a dark room, to oblivion, she would find a way to deal with tomorrow. She would find a way to face the Quins alone with the shameful sting of failure. They would believe she'd help Gloria run away. How could she blame them? She was already a liar and a sneak in their eyes and cess, and she admitted in her own. With slow deliberation, she turned the bolt, fixed the safety lock, then leaned back against the door until she could will her legs to move again. When the light switched on, she stifled a yelp and covered her eyes in defense. You're right about the view. Philip said from her terrace doors, it's spectacular. She lowered her hand, forced her mind engaged. She'd removed his jacket and sigh, she noted, but otherwise he looked just as he had when he comforted, confronted her at the police station, polished, urban, and bitterly angry. How did you get in? His smile was cold, turning his eyes a hard, chilly gold, the color of an icy winter storm. You disappoint me, Sir Bill. I'd have thought your research on your subject would have included the fact that one of my fa formidable skills was breaking and entering. She stayed where she was, supported by the door. You were a thief, among other things, but enough about me. He stepped forward, settled on the arm of the sofa, like a casual friend, making himself comfortable for a chatty visit. You fascinate me. Your notes are incredibly revealing, even to a layman. You read my notes? Her gaze swung toward the desk and her laptop. She couldn't quite find outrage through the prickling blanket of pain enveloping her head, but she knew it must be there. You had no right to come in here, uninvited, to bring it to my computer and read my work. <laughs> so calm, Philip thought, and rose to help himself to a beer from her mini bar. What kind of woman was she? As far as I'm concerned, so Bill, all bets are off. All pets are off. You lied to me. You used me. You had it all worked out, didn't you? When you watched into the boatyard last week, your agenda was set. He couldn't stay calm. The longer she stood staring at him with no expression on her face, the higher his tempers might infiltrate the enemy camp. He slammed his the beer onto the table. The crack of glass and wood split through her head like an axe. Observe and report past information to your sister, and if being with me helped you slide more smoothly behind the lines, you were willing to make the sacrifice. Would you have slept with me? No. She pressed the hand to her head, heavily gave in to the need to slip on the floor and crawl. I never meant for things. I think you're lying. He crossed her, taking her arms, drawing her up to her. I think you'd have done anything. Just one more objective lesson, right? And more the added benefit of helping your bitch of a sister bleed us for more money. So that doesn't mean any more to you than he does to her. Just a means to an end for both of you. No, that's not. I can't think. The pain was excruciating. If he hadn't been holding her up, she would have gone to her knees and be. I. We'll discuss it tomorrow. I'm not well. You and Gloria have that in common, too. I'm not falling for it, Sibyl. Their breath began to hitch. I'm sorry. I can't stand it. I have to sit down. Please. I have to sit down. He focused in. Past his fury. Her cheeks were dead pale. Her eyes glassy. Her breath coming fast and uneven. If she was faking illness, he decided Hollywood had missed a major star. Muttering a he pulled her to the sofa. She all but melted on the cushions. Too little to be embarrassed. She closed her. My briefcase. My pills are in my briefcase. Picked up the soft black leather case beside the desk, rifled through it, and found a prescription box. A Mitrex. He looked over at her. She had her head back, her eyes closed, and her hands fisted in her lap, so if she could center the pain there and squeeze it out. Major migraine drugs. Yes, I get them now and again. She had to focus. She ordered herself had to relax, but nothing. She did ease her past the vicious pain. I should have had them with me. If I had them with me, I wouldn't have gone this far. Here. He handed her a pill and water he'd taken from the mini bar. Thank you. She nearly bubbled the water in her rush. It takes a while, but it's better than the injection. She closed her eyes again. Prayed he would just leave her alone. Have you eaten? What? No, I'll be all right. She looked fragile to her finally, so part of him thought she deserved a hurt. Was tempted to leave her with her misery, but he picked up the phone and asked for room service. I don't want anything. Just be quiet. He ordered up soup and tea, then began to prowl the room. How could he have misjudged her so completely? Pegging people quickly and accurately, accurately was one of his most fine honed skills. He'd seen an intellect intelligent interesting woman a classy one with humor and taste beneath the glossy service she was a liar a cheat and an opportunistic he nearly laughed just described the boy he worked half his life to bury 
In your notes, you say you haven't seen Seth since he was about four. Why did you come here now? I thought I could help. Who? Oh, the hope that the pain would be in her as he gave her the strength to open her eyes. I don't know. I thought I could help him. And Gloria, you hope one you hurt the other. I read your notes, Sibyl. Are you going to try to tell me you care about him? The subject appears healthy. He's not a fucking subject. He's a child. It's necessary to be objective. It's necessary to be human. It was a dart sharp enough to strike her heart and make an ache as well. I'm not very good with emotions. Reactions and behavioral patterns are more my forte than feelings. I hope to be able to keep a certain distance from the situation to analyze it, determine what was best for all involved. I haven't been doing a good job of it. Why didn't you do anything before? You demanded. Why didn't you do anything to analyze the situation when Seth was with your sister? I didn't know where they were. Then she let out a breath, shook her head. It's no time for excuses. The man staring at her. Those cold eyes wouldn't accept them in any case. I never seriously tried to find out. I sent her money now and again. She contacted me and asked for it. My connection with Gloria was usually unproductive and unpleasant. For Christ's sake, Sybil, we're talking about a little boy here. Now your views on Sybil and rivalry. I was afraid to get attached, she snapped out. The one time I did, she took him away. He was her child, not mine. There was nothing I could do about it. I asked her to let me help, but she wouldn't. She's been raising them all alone. My parents have disinherited her. My mother wouldn't even acknowledge that she has a grandson. I know Gloria has problems, but it can't be easy for her. He simply stared at her. Are you serious? She had no one to depend on. Spill me again and close her eyes again. His knock sounded on her. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can eat. Yes, you can. Philip opened the door for the room service waiter, directed him to set the tray on the table in front of the sofa. He dispatched him quickly with cash and a generous tip. Try the soup, you You need something in your system or the medicine's going to end up making you nauseous. My mother was a doctor, remember? All right. She spooned it up. Slowly, telling herself it was just more medicine. Thank you. I'm sure you're not in the mood to be kind. It's harder for me to kick you when you're down. Eat up, Sabu, and we'll go around or two. She sighed. The leading edge of the headache was dulling. She could handle it now, she thought, and him as well. I hope you'll at least attempt to understand my point of view on this. Gloria called me a few weeks ago. She was desperate, terrified. She told me she'd lost Seth. Lost him. Bill let out a short, sarcastic. Huh, that's rich. I thought abduction at first, but I was able to get some of the details out of her. She explained that your family had him, had taken him from her. She was almost hysterical, so afraid she'd never get him back. She didn't have the money to pay her lawyer. She was fighting an entire family, entire system, all alone. I wired her the money for the lawyer, and I told her I'd help. That she should wait until I contacted her. As her system began to settle again, she reached for one of the rolls in the basket beside her bolt and broke it open. I decided to come and see the situation for myself. I know Gloria doesn't always tell the entire truth, that she can slant things to suit her position, but the fact remains that your family had Seth and she didn't. Thank God for that. <laughs> She stared at the bread in her hand, wondered if she could manage to put it in her mouth and chew. I know you're providing for him with a good home, but she's his mother, Philip. She has a right to keep her own son. He washed her face carefully and measured the tone of her voice. He didn't know whether to be furious or baffled by Well, You actually believe that, don't you? Carl was seeping back into her cheeks. Her eyes had cleared and now met his suddenly. What do you mean? You believe that my family took Seth, that we took advantage of some poor single mother down on her luck and snatched the kid, that that she wants him back, that she even has a lawyer working on custody. You do have him, so Bill pointed out. That's right, and he's exactly where he belongs and it's going to stay. Let me give you some facts. She blackmailed my father and she told, sold Seth to him. I know you believe that, but I said facts, so Bill. Less than a year ago, Seth was living in a set of filthy rooms on the block in Baltimore and your sister was on the stroll. On the show? God, where do you come from? She was hooking. That isn't a whore with a heart of gold here. This isn't desperate, down on her luck, unwed mother, doing anything she has to survive and keep her child fed. She was keeping her habit fed. She only shook her head, slowly, side to side, even as part of her mind, accepted everything. 
you can't know all this. Yes, I can know it, because I live with Seth. I've talked with him. I've listened to him. Her hands went icy. She left the pot of tea to warm them, poured some slowly into cup. He's just a boy. He could have misunderstood. Sure, I bet that's it. He just misunderstood when she brought his yawn up to the place. When she got so stoned, she sprawled on the floor, and he wondered if she was dead. He just misunderstood when she beat the hell out of him, when she was feeling testy. She hit him? The cup right on this. She hit him? She bade him. No, not conventional, yet civilized spanking, Dr. Griffin. Fist, belts, the back of the hand. Have you ever had a fist in your face? He held up his to her. Figure it out. Proportionally, this would be about right. Comparing a grown woman's fist to, say, a five, six-year-old boy. Put liquor and drugs into that fist, and it comes faster and harder. I've been there. He angled his fist away, study. My mother preferred smack to the uninhibited, uninitiated. That's heroin. If she missed her fix, you learned learn to stay far out of her way. I know just what it is to have a vicious, fucked-up female take her fists to me. His gaze went back to spills. Your sister won't ever have a chance to use them on Seth again. I... She needs to go into therapy. I never... He was fine when I saw him. If I'd known she was abusing him, I haven't finished He's a good-looking kid, isn't he? Some of Gloria's clients thought so. The color had come back to her cheeks. Oh, no, shaking her head. She pushed away from him and stacked at her feet. No, I don't believe that. That's hideous. That's impossible. She didn't do anything to stop it. He ignored the pale cheeks. Virtually now pushed hard. She didn't do a goddamn thing to protect him. Seth was on his own there. He fought them off or hid. Sooner or later, there would have been one he couldn't fight off or hide from. That's not possible. She couldn't. She could, especially if it earned her a few extra bucks. It took months with us before he could stand to be touched, even in the most casual way. He has nightmares still, and you say his mother's name, it makes me sick to see the fear that comes into his eyes. That's your situation, Dr. Griffin. God, how can you expect me to accept all that, to believe she's capable of that? She pressed her hand on her. I grew up with her. I've known her less than a, I've known you less than a week. Do you expect me to accept this horror story, this vilestness aspect? I think you believe it, said him. I think under it all, you're smart enough and, let's say, observant enough to know the truth. She was terrified. If it is the truth, why didn't the authorities do anything? Why hasn't he... Why has why wasn't he helped? So Bill, have you lived on the smooth plateaus so long that you really don't know what life's like on the street? How many sets there are out there? The system works some of the time. For the few and the lucky. Didn't work for me. Didn't work for Seth. Rain Stella Quinn worked for me. In just under a year, my father paid your sister the first installment on a ten year old boy. He brought Seth home. He gave him a life, a decent one. She said she said he took Seth. Yeah, he took him. Ten thousand the first time, a couple other payments of about the same. Then last March, she wrote him a letter demanding a lump sum payment, 150,000 cash, and she'd walk away. A hundred and... Oh, Paul, she broke off, struggling to concentrate on viable facts. She wrote a letter. I've read it. I was in the car. It was in the car with my father... When he was killed, he was on his way back from Baltimore. He cleaned out most of his bank accounts. I'd have to guess she'd gone through a big chunk of it by now. She wrote us to make him more money just a few months ago. She turned away, walked quickly to the terrace doors, and flung them open. The need for air was urgent, and she gulped in and white water. I'm supposed to accept that Gloria has done all this, and her primary motive is money. She sent you sent her money for a lawyer. What's his name? Why hasn't our lawyer been contacted by him? She squeezed her eyes shut. Wouldn't help but to, to feel betrayed, she reminded herself. She's evaded the questions when I asked her. Obviously, she doesn't have a lawyer, and it's doubtful she ever intended to consult one. Well, you're slow. The sarcasm rang clearly. But you do catch on. I wanted to believe her. We were never close as children, and that has to be as much my fault as hers. I'd hope I could help her. And Seth, I thought this was the way. So she played you. I felt responsible. My mother is so unbending on this. She's angry that I came here. She has refused to acknowledge Gloria since she ran off at 18. Gloria claimed to have been molested by the counselor at our school. She was also claiming to have been molested. They had terrible road, my mother, and she and Gloria was gone the next day. She'd taken some of my mother's jewelry, my mother's, my father's coin collection, some cash. I didn't hear from her for nearly five years. Those five years were a relief. <laughs> She hated me, Sibyl said quietly. 
<laughs> continued to stare out on the lights and like, always, as long as I can remember, it didn't matter what I did, whether I fought with her or stepped back and let her have her way, she detested me. It was easier for me to keep my distance. Didn't hate her. Simply felt nothing. And when I brushed everything else aside right now, it's exactly the same. Can't feel anything for her. Must be a flaw, she murmured. Maybe it's genetic. <laughs> with a weak smile, she turned around. Might make an interesting study one day. <laughs> you never had a clue, did you, of what she was doing? No. So much for my renowned observation skills. I'm sorry, Philip. I'm so terribly sorry for what I've done and haven't done. I promise you, I didn't come here to harm Seth, and I give you my word. Do whatever I can to help. If I can go into social services in the morning and speak with Anna and your family, if you allow it, I'd like to see Seth. Try to explain. We won't be taking him to Anna's office. We're not letting Gloria near him. She won't be there. He says, I beg your pardon. I don't know where she is. Defeated, she spread her hands. I promised I'd bring her. I meant to. You just let her walk? God damn it. I didn't. Not intentionally. She sank down on the sofa again. I took her to a restaurant. I wanted to get her a meal, talk to her. She was agitating and drinking too much. I was annoyed with her. I told her we were going to straighten everything out, that we were going to have a meeting in the morning. I made ultimatums. I should have known better. She didn't like it, but I didn't see what she could do about it. What sort of ultimatums? That she would get in counseling, get in rehab, that she would get help. Get herself straightened out before she tried to gain custody of Seth. She went to the ladies' room, and when she didn't come back out, I went in looking for her. She lifted her hands, let them fall. Usually, I found my wallet. She must have taken it on out of my purse. She left me my credit cards. She had it with a worry small. She knew I'd work. Would cancel them straight off. She only took the cash. It's not the first time she's stolen from me, but it always surprises me. She starts chugging it off. I drove around for nearly two hours, hoping I'd find her, but I didn't. And I don't know where she is. I don't know what she tends to do. She messed you over pretty good, didn't she? I'm an adult. I can take care of myself, and I'm responsible for myself. But, Seth, if even a part of what you told me is true, he'll hate me. I understand that, and I'll have to accept it. I'd like the chance to talk to him. <laughs> That'll be up to him. Fair enough. I need to see the files, the paperwork. She linked her finger. I realize you can require me to go to court, get a court order, but I'd like to avoid that. Process this because I process this. I'd process this better if I had all of it in black and white. It's not as simple as black and white when you're dealing with people's lives and feelings. Maybe not, but I need facts, documents, reports. Once I have them, if I'm persuaded that Seth's best interest is to remain with your family through legal guardianship or adoption, I'll do whatever I can to help that happen. She had to push now, she told herself. She had to push to make him give her another chance. Just one more chance. I'm a psychologist, and I'm the birth mother's sister. I think my opinion would bear weight in court. <laughs> he studied her objectively. Details, he thought. He was the man who handled the details, after all. Those, though she was adding, though she was adding, would only help settle everything the way he wanted it settled. I imagine it would, and I'll discuss it with my family. But I don't think you get... It's a bill. She isn't going to fight for Seth. She never intended to fight for him. She's just trying to use him to get more money. She's not going to get that either. Not another dime. So I'm superfluous. Maybe. I haven't decided. He rose. Dreaming of changing his pocket as he pays. How are you feeling? Better. Fine. Thank you. Sorry to have fallen apart like that. But the migraine was a full-blown one. You get them often. A few times a year, I'm usually able to get to the medicine I want set, so they're not too bad. When I left this evening, I was distracted. Yeah, bailing your sister out of jail would be a distraction. He glanced back at her with mild curiosity. How much did it take to spring her? Bail was set at 5000 Well, I'd say you kissed that goodbye. Most likely, the money isn't important. What is? He stopped, turned toward her. She looked exhausted and disconcertingly fragile still. An unfair advantage was still finished. She decided, what well, is important to you, Sibyl? Finishing what I've started. You may need, not need my help, but I don't intend to walk away until I've done what I can. If Seth doesn't want to see you or speak to you, he won't. That's by the line. He's had enough. She straightened her shoulders before they could slump. Regardless of whether he agrees to see or speak with me, I intend to say, stay until the legal teas are settled. You can't force me to leave, Philip. You can't make it difficult. You can make it difficult for me, uncomfortable, but you can't make me leave until I'm satisfied. Yeah, I can make it difficult for you. I can make it damn near impossible for you. And I'm considering doing, I'm considering just that. He leaned over, ignoring her and just instinctive jerk and caught her chin firmly in his hand. Would you have slept with me? Under the circumstances, I believe that's moot. Not to me it is, and answers the question. 
She kept her eyes level with his. That was a matter of pride, though she felt she had little of that left or her dignity left. Yes? When his eyes flared, she jerked his chin away. But not because of Seth or Gloria. I would have slept with you because I wanted you. Because I was attracted to you. When I was around you for any length of time, my priorities became blurred. <laughs> Your priorities became blurred. He rocked back on his heels, dipped his hands in his palms. Jesus, your case. Why well, do I find that snotty attitude intriguing? I don't have a snotty attitude. You asked the question. I answered it honestly. And you'll note in the past tense. <laughs> now I've got something else to consider. If I want to change that to present tense, don't say it's moot, Sibyl. He warned her when she opened her mouth. I'm bound to take that as a dare. If we end up in bed tonight, neither one of us is going to like ourselves in the morning. I don't like you very much right now. We're on the same curve there, honey. Jingle his key. Change again the shark. Well, we'll keep the meeting at Anna's office in the morning. As far as I'm concerned, you can see all the paperwork, including your sister's blackmail letters. As far as Seth goes, I don't make any promises. If you try to go around me in my family to get him, you'll regret it. Don't threaten me. I'm not. I'm giving you facts. It's your family who likes threats. His smile was sharp, dangerous, and without any ounce of humor. The queens make promises, and they keep them. I'm not Gloria. No, but we still have to see just two you are. Nine o'clock yet. All in Dr. Griffin. You may want to look over your own notes again. When you do, you might be interested, psychologically speaking, to ask yourself why you find it so much more rewarding to observe than to participate. Get some sleep. He suggested that as he walked to the door. You're going to want to be sharp tomorrow. Philip, going with the impulse of temper, she rose and waited for him to turn around. The door opened. His room. Isn't it fortunate that circumstances changed before we made the mistake of sex? He angled his head, both impressed and amused that she dared such a dangerous parting shot. Darling, I'm counting my blessings. He closed the door with a quiet snap. End of chapter 10.